Alright, today we're going to be testing out the Hacko 808 desoldering tool. This desoldering tool is a little bit different uh, than a pencil with a base station. A lot of hot air rework stations have a vacuum port and a nice little pencil with a tube that you can use to desolder. Um, the benefits of this system is it's completely self-contained. The vacuum is built right in. It's a, a handheld unit and it runs on 120 volts AC. So you've got your desoldering tip right here, uh, which is replaceable, which is a, you know, a really nice uh, feature of it. Um, and then you come down here to your solder reservoir. This is where all your solder is going to end up. It's very easy to remove the reservoir and to empty it out and the reservoir is also gigantic so you can do a lot of desoldering before you have to empty this thing um, there's also the little metal back plate there that cools down your solder so that it doesn't go in and hit the filter that's replaceable uh, don't really see why you'd have to replace it anytime soon but they do give you uh, five or six of them inside of the, the kit uh, which is nice and then you've got a little filter here and again the filter is replaceable and uh, I think the kit comes with like five or six of them um, but it's uh, it's real easy to work with there's you know no tools involved in, in cleaning it or emptying it or anything like that so uh, the vacuum pump is actually built right in so if you're a field technician like I am uh, this works out really nice because if you've ever had to desolder a lot of stuff and you normally work with a hot air rework station, you wouldn't want to bring your whole station out on a job and have to deal with the bulkiness of it, whereas this is just a completely self-contained unit. <clears throat> then you've got your vacuum pump built right in. So here you can see the motor. Uh, there's a couple diaphragms here and a little counterweight that makes up the entire vacuum right there and I'll just turn it on for a second here so I'm really happy with the amount of suction that this thing has to offer uh, it's not much different than having a rework station with a vacuum port it's a little bit louder but uh, at the same time given the versatility of it the, the trade-offs are definitely worthwhile so I really don't have any complaints about it other than uh, it's a little hot the uh, it has a little temperature trim pot here but the minimum temperature is around uh, 600 degrees Fahrenheit so what that means is that if you're doing any kind of sensitive work you're gonna have to be very careful with how long you uh, apply the heat to your component so here we just have a universal uh, or uninterruptible power supply this is the circuit board out of uh, I believe it's an APC brand uh, UPS and I've already desoldered a bunch of stuff from it um, just kind of testing out the unit and uh, you know capacitors they just they just fall right out um, you turn the board upside down you hit each pin with this thing and they and they literally they just fall out of the board there's there's nothing else to it so the vacuum power is uh is, is adequate to make this thing worthwhile um i pulled out a couple relays uh normally after i desolder something i have to clean up the pins and get the excess solder off um when i pulled out these relays i didn't do anything i just pulled them out and this is what the pins look like so that's pretty clean uh, there's a couple more relays that got pulled out and uh, and they came out nice and clean too. Just give you an example of one of these relays came out of this the board right here. Now again, you know, I didn't clean this up at all. I didn't do any prep work and I didn't do any finishing work. It's just, uh, you know, that's how it turns out just from using the tool itself. So you can see all these holes that I desoldered. Uh, you can see right through the hole. There's not any residual solder left whatsoever. 
If you do end up with a little residual solder and your part doesn't fall out on its own, then of course you have to remember that this is through hole soldering and there is a sleeve inside of that circuit board and that sleeve can easily be pulled out. So the worst case scenario is you heat up your part, you pull all the solder out, it's still a little bit stuck in there, you just take a soldering iron and you just apply a little bit of heat to it and push it through. Of course you never want to pull it out because you might pull out your through holes. So let's pull something out here. And uh, let me just give you an example here. We got this capacitor. Let's take this capacitor out. So I'm just going to flip the board over. And it looks like that's our capacitor right there. So basically you just press the tool down on the uh, on the lead uh, going through the through hole and wait a second for the solder to melt and then you just turn on the vacuum and uh, while the vacuum is running pull it off the board it's a bad idea to stop the vacuum when there's any solder present because uh, it'll probably clog it up um, which actually hasn't happened yet it's just a good idea so let's do the other lead And if you just heard that sound, it's a very magical sound, the uh, capacitor just fell right out on its own. So I didn't have to do uh, any other work other than touch that button for about a half a second each. And here's a look at the board right there. So you can see there's not a trace of solder left in those holes. And uh, I didn't prepare the surface of this board at all. I didn't even clean it. Um, it's pretty clean to begin with, but at the same time, um, you, it, you really don't need anything to conduct the heat. A lot of people will just glop a ton of flux on there and put some desoldering grade down and hold their soldering iron on it. And then uh, breathe those residual fumes in their office for God only knows how long. But uh, this pretty much takes care of all that. It's a great little tool. It's definitely worth the money. Uh, it seems to work well.